be happy enough, doesn't he? Indeed, sir. The engagement appears to have lifted his spirits quite considerably. Engagement? You're not aware that uh, Mr. Finkelman proposed to Miss Bassett this afternoon and was accepted, sir? Well, 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 Jeeves. Yes, sir. You see how right I was? Indeed, sir. Yes, this must be rather an eye-opener for you, Jeeves. Watch me handling this case. Right. Luckily, sir, I found right. an opportunity to add half a bottle of ardent spirit to his luncheon orange juice. Lords, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jeeves. So did I, Jeeves. Now, this year, we are all delighted to welcome, as our guest for the afternoon, Mr. Fitzwattle. Think Nottle! <laughs> I should say, think Nottle. Well, of course you should, you silly ass. <laughs> well, all right, get on with it. We are all happy, as I say, uh, to welcome uh, Mr. Fink Nottle, who has kindly consented to present the prizes. Now, I'm sure Mr. Fink Nottle's name is familiar to us all. Oh, well, not to you. You didn't seem to know it's a dashed well what? Right, though. Push off. Speech. Speech? Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen and boys. It's a beautiful world, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, lords and, and things. I mean, the, 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 the sky is blue, the birds are singing. There's optimism everywhere. And why not, girls and ladies? I should like you all to be upstanding and give three cheers for this beautiful world. Up you get. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! All right, sit down, sit down. Now, anybody who says this isn't a beautiful world doesn't know what they're talking about. You see, if there's one thing in the world I can't stand, it's a pessimist. See, a pessimist is a man who... Why, hello, Bertie. I didn't know you were here. Now, there's an instance of what I mean. Uh, ladies and... what's it? Take a good look at that object sitting there at the back. Uh, morning coat, trousers is warm, moldy rose in button, only can't miss it. I despise that man, women and children. <coughs> and shall I tell you why? Eh? Because he... Uh, uh, I think, uh, Mr. Fignottle, as, uh, as time is getting on, I think perhaps we ought to uh, commence the... Oh, it's you. The prizes, yes, right. Uh, might as well be shoving along with it. What, what's this one? The spelling and dictation, P. K. Purvis. Spelling and dictation, P. K. Purvis. Forward, P. K. Purvis. Oh, you, P. K. Purvis? Yes, sir. It's a beautiful world, P.K. Purvis. Yes, sir. Ah, you've noticed it, have you? Good. You married by any chance? No, sir. Get married, P.K. Purvis. It's the only life. Yes, sir. Good boy. Right, Headmaster, what's the next one? G.G. Simmons, scripture knowledge. G.G. Simmons. Scripture knowledge. So, you've won the Scripture Knowledge Prize, have you, G.G. Simmons? So, yes, sir. Yes. You looked as a sort of little tick who would. And yet, how are we to know that you came by it in an open and above-board manner? I can assure you, Mr. Fignottle, every care was taken to ensure a correct marking. Well, if you say so. All right, G.G. Simmons, take your prize. Sir, thank you, sir. But let me tell you, there's nothing to stick on sight about in winning a prize for scripture knowledge. Bertie Worcester won a scripture knowledge prize, but, of course, Bertie frankly cheated. He succeeded in scrounging that scripture knowledge prize over the heads of better men by means of some of the worst and most brazen swindling methods, even at a school where such things were the norm. You will not be 
surprised to learn, Jeeves, that Madeline and Gussie are no longer engaged after the fiasco of the prize giving. Was there much more after I left? No, sir. Uh, Mr. Finknottle's inflamed cerebral condition brought about an early closure. Mm. He returned to the theme of Master G. G. Simmons and his scripture knowledge prize, hinting at systematic cheating on an impressive scale. He even went so far as to suggest that Master Simmons is well known to the police. Oh, golly. Yes, sir. Not our finest hour, Jeeves. No, sir.